Hello everyone and welcome to my March monthly reset and plan with me. I feel like I did a February reset just yesterday, but I guess that's February for ya. All right, starting off, I'm going to do my desktop customization. So as you can see, this is February's desktop, super pink and pretty and Valentine's theme. Now we're gonna switch it over to March. Now I have already designed my background in Canva. I have a few videos on how to do this in full detail. I'm not gonna go through it right now, but I basically grab photos from Pinterest and pick a nice theme for the month. So I'm just going to switch every single desktop out. I do have three different ones that I have to do. So this is my first one with my to-do list. So I'll start with that. So I just right click and set desktop background. A little St. Patrick's vibes going on, but mostly just like green and aesthetic looking in my opinion. But let me do the same thing on the other ones. For the second and third background, I have a photo instead of the to-do list section that I just leave blank so I can add that sticky. First, I will change this color of the to-do list. Now I just use the stickies application to add a sticky to to my desktop and then if it doesn't match, I usually change it. I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> Gray looks probably the best and I will have to change the font now because it's white. So I just go to show fonts and then I think I'm gonna make the font just the same as this or close enough. Perfect. Now it's time to change my folder icons. If you watched my February monthly reset, you'll notice that I did end up changing these icons after the video was filmed because I didn't realize that the lines were too thin and I specifically had to just press on the edge. Otherwise it wouldn't open the folder. So if I double clicked here, it wouldn't open. So I ended up changing it to a full heart. Now the design that I have for this month, they're thin lines but I've decided to do it a little bit of a different way. So instead what I did was I made the background color of the image the same as what I have already. And so I'm just going to change the icons to be these squares. Usually I take out the background like you saw on this heart. This is just a PNG with a transparent background, but instead when it's like this, you won't see that the background is like a square. And then I can click anywhere close to it and it'll open the folder. Genius. All right, let's change them out. So I made four different designs and I think I'm just gonna alternate so it's a bit different and fun. So I'm just gonna right click and get info. Oh, I forgot one step. So open the folder icon, click Command A to select everything, Command C to copy, and then select your folder icon and click Command V. And then it's changed. Let's change the rest. Perfect, now they're all changed. I just left this March cover photo, which will come in handy for Notion. But that is it. That's my desktop customized. I think I might just make the sticky note in line. Maybe I'll make the font just a bit smaller. Perfect, so everything fits nicely. There we go, that's my March desktop customization. All right, so this is my Notion. This is where I plan every single month. I love the fact that Notion allows you to make things aesthetic and your own. You can customize it, which you know I love to customize, or if you don't know, I do. <laughs> it's just such a great way to organize your month and plan. So let's get started. This is my homepage. Now that cover photo that I have on my desktop saved, is what I'm going to change it to. I make all of my designs in Canva. I did the exact same thing with this. I just made it ahead of time. And I also need to change these photos as well. So I'll, I'll do that really quickly here. All right, I changed the photos to something different, but very much on theme, super green for March. I love it. So this is my homepage. I have all my different pages linked here, as well as weather, where I'm at, and at my home as well. So let's move on to my first page, which is my weekly agenda. Now, week four is technically not over. It is currently February 25th. So I'm filming this a little bit earlier than March, but that's because I wanna get it out right before March starts. I'm going to just close that and kind of plan my first week. I've already started filling this out because I kind of wanted to get a start on it. So I'm just gonna fill out to the best of my knowledge. And then by the end of the weekend, I'll be able to know more of what I need to do. I more or less figured out what I wanted to fill my week with and that is it if you wanna take a peek. I also have this section here, just so you know, with weekly tasks that need to get done every week, sort of. I just put this here because I wanna do that video. I've been kind of struggling with prioritizing wedding planning and then editing and filming and everything like that. So I'm doing my best, that's all I can say. I can technically check this off 
because I did order invitations. Film for weekend vid. I think I'm doing that right now. I think that's what I meant by that. And then also post groomsman video is something that hopefully will be on Wednesday. I'm just gonna drag that in here. Moving on to habit tracker. This was a new page that I implemented just last month and I'm super excited that I did. Whether I stuck to all my goals or not, it's not looking good, but that's okay. One of my goals for the month that I didn't even put in my monthly goals was to start getting up earlier and going to bed earlier. I just want to be a morning person, but I'm not. I'm just not. I did have here whether I woke up at 8 a.m. I did that one time. This morning I woke up at 8.30. I don't know if that counts, but it's fine. And then 11 p.m. whether I went to bed on those days at 11 p.m. I did it more often than not, but I have a lot of trouble sleeping. So if I say 11 p.m., that means, okay, my eyes are closed at 11 p.m. Doesn't mean I'm falling asleep by 11 p.m. I have no idea when I fall asleep most of the time. So I feel like maybe it should be like within the hour. Did I fall asleep within the 11 o'clock hour and did I wake up within the 8 a.m. hour? Maybe that's something I'll start doing for next month. But the month's not over, so I have a few days that I have to think about. I did do yoga last night, so the 24th. Oh, and I worked out last night too. Perfect. So I can check those off. So looks like I did a lot of yoga. I did work out quite a bit, not as much as I want to, not as consistently, but I've been doing way better and getting stronger. So super proud of that. The one thing I want to add, which I guess I have to copy this and make one for March. So let me do that now. I copied the whole thing by just hitting option right over here and dragging. I think I can change this to March and then just drag it all down and then basically uncheck everything. I don't know if there's an easier way. If there's an easier way to uncheck things, comment down below. I never really did the skincare section. As much as I wanna implement a better skincare routine, I feel like this just won't happen. Like I just won't track it, I don't think. So I'm gonna delete it, but I do wanna track one other thing. And that is my water consumption. I really wanna drink more water. So I'm gonna say eight cups. The one way I used to track my water consumption, I started doing this in high school and I've kind of gone off and on throughout the years, but there's this app called Plant Nanny. It is the cutest app. I really hope it still exists. I have it on here. I just have to re-download it from the cloud. There's a Plant Nanny 1 and a Plant Nanny 2, I'm pretty sure. I think I like the Plant Nanny 1 better, but I haven't used the apps in so long. But I'll show you Plant Nanny 1. <laughs> My plant is currently dead. But basically, to revive it, you'll just hold down and give it water. Actually, never mind. It says just bury it or bring it back. Okay, since my plant is dead, I have to start over. Just gonna bury it, poor plant, and start again. So there's different plants you can choose from, and you like earn seeds, I think. I have 10,181 seeds. I'm so glad that they have stayed. So you scroll through and you pick your plant. I think you can buy different kinds of plants as you go on. You can also change the pot. These are the plants. Oh, perfect, clover for March. I'm gonna do a clover and I'm gonna change the pot. Okay, I'm just gonna make it a simple white pot and then I can name it. I'll name it Clovey. As I drink water throughout the day, I can water my plant. So I did have one cup of water. If you scroll up, I have different settings of water that are mostly what I drink. And then I water my plant as I drink my water. And then the plant will grow and it will die if you don't drink enough water. My goal is eight cups a day. You can also change the goal. It's a brilliant app. So cute and so encouraging. That's how I'm gonna track my water drinking throughout the day and I can check it off in Notion if I actually complete the task. Moving on to workouts. My workout schedule is definitely not this. I do try and pick a different body part every day. I've been doing yoga almost every day. And I also go on the bike, the stationary bike that we have as my like cardio. But do I do push and then the next day do abs, the next day do pull? Definitely not. I just cycle through as I work out. But I'm gonna leave this as is. Will I follow it? Maybe. Will I revamp this page in the future? I think so. Moving on to my content planner. I usually post on Saturdays, but I've been really bad this month at posting videos. I'm so sorry. I have so many goals and so many things that I want to film and do and share, but I've been trying to prioritize other things at the moment. I'm getting better at splitting my time, and that's a goal for this month that I definitely want to implement, but here we are. Sunday, I'm going to hopefully get this March reset done. I have the groomsman video planned, and then a video planned on the next Saturday, or maybe Sunday. Maybe I'll switch my posting day. We'll see. So I do have some ideas here and there, but that's my content planner 
for now. Moving on to my content tracker. So this is where I track my analytics for YouTube and Instagram and TikTok, but we've taken a pause on TikTok. <laughs> Going to my YouTube growth. I mean, February is not technically over, but that's fine. So my subscriber count is at 1,649. If you'd like to subscribe, please do so. <laughs> this is my watch time over a lifetime as of now, 15,293.8 if you wanna be specific. And then views, I love being able to see how much I grow each month. For Instagram, I've had very little growth. So that is my follower account at the moment. I'm going to skip the accounts reach and accounts engaged. I feel like because I don't post on Instagram as much as I'd like to, it's just not a good indication of what it could be and what it usually is. So I'm just gonna skip that for now, as well as TikTok because I haven't been posting on there. I'm not really gonna touch on this because if I go through it every month, It'll just be redundant. I do have a full video on where I plan all these goals out and I'll add to them over time. And if I add to them, I'll talk about it again. But for the meantime, 2023 goals, you know, haven't really met them yet. So moving on to monthly goals. The number one reason I added a habit tracker was to see whether I worked out six times a week or not. So going back to that, I still have February open because February is not over yet. And within the seven days, I only worked out four times. I'm gonna leave that goal as as is for the month considering I didn't meet it, but four times a week is pretty good. I'm proud of myself nonetheless. On my like to know it page, I did not post four times. I posted twice. Those are my first two posts ever. If you'd like to follow me, I will be linking outfits, home stuff, just a bunch of my favorite things or things I'm looking to purchase. I have lots of ideas for that platform and I'm just getting started on it. So if you'd like to follow me over there, would love to have you. I'm gonna get into it way more in the coming months for sure. Finish main wedding planning. This meant like the big ticket items, which we haven't decided on a florist yet. We really need to do that. I say that every single month. I've said that in January. I've said that in February. It's going to be done by March. 100%. We're getting there. I'll leave that there. And then stop filming, editing, and posting the next day, aka no procrastination. I did not do that this entire month, but today I'm doing that. I'm hoping to post tomorrow, but this week has been really, really busy. We've just been focusing on wedding planning. It's a lot, so I'm not blaming myself. I'm gonna keep it there so I can hold myself accountable. Start website. I don't know if I meant like my personal website or the wedding website. It doesn't matter. I think I'm gonna delete it for now because I'm not planning to start my own personal website for another few months. Read one to five to two books. That's because I was halfway through a book. Now I didn't finish that book. I've started to pick it up now, but I did read one book. So we're gonna leave that there for the month. Wow, I didn't do anything this month that I planned to. Send out wedding invites. I've ordered the invites. They're gonna be sent out within the next two weeks. So gotta leave that there as well. I'm gonna add to the list and say, get up and go to bed earlier, more consistently. Another thing I said was stick to my posting schedule at least once a week. Content goals. It's still at 1,649, so I have one more. I think one more person will subscribe by the end of the month. I'm gonna leave it unchecked, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to check it. We're almost there for Instagram as well. I think I've had this goal for quite a while on here, but still hasn't been met. Neither has the TikTok goal, so. We're gonna leave it as is. I'm going to add my YouTube subscriber goal B. Okay, this might be a little bit too ambitious because I was growing more rapidly before, maybe around 150 a month. Maybe that's not as ideal right now, but I'm hoping 1,800 by the end of March, that's the goal. Okay, moving on to my wedding planning section. Narrow down the timeline is basically done. Actually, I guess that's a lie. No, I'm gonna say that's in progress because we have a ceremony time and we have an end time. The stuff in the middle is not concrete. So I'll leave that there. Find wedding shoes I still haven't done. Add accommodation recommendations. That is done and on our website. If you gotta save the date, check out our website. Things are being updated. <laughs> Start registry, I did do, but haven't finished it yet. So that's gonna be there. Order and slash make invitations. I did order them, but I haven't like assembled them. So I think I'm gonna say, well, to do 
send invitations. Collect addresses, I have a couple that I'm missing. Find veil, no, altar dress, no. Bridesmaid dresses, that is in progress. Book hair and makeup team, I've reached out to one team, I just need to reach out to a couple more maybe and find what the best match will be. Find florist is in progress. Okay, things I need to add. Finalize, rehearsal, dinner, location. That's actually in progress. We are moving along with what might end up being our rehearsal dinner spot, so that's exciting. I'm gonna say the bridal shower is also in progress now because we began making a guest list and kind of thinking about what time we're gonna have it, like what time of the month, which month. So super excited that we're also moving along on that. Even seating charts kind of in progress. I know we don't have our guest list back, but I bought a mirror for our seating chart, so I'm super excited to DIY that in the future. Time for my monthly reflection for February. So January was a super hard month. February wasn't perfect either, but nothing's perfect. So one word to describe this month. I did start this month out with some good news with immigration. We're moving on to the next stage, which is very exciting because we've been waiting a long time to get here. So I'm gonna say hopeful. Memorable moments, highlights, things you're proud of or anything you want to remember. The immigration next step. I'll just call it that. That was a great email to receive. I got it on the 1st of February. So really started the month off perfectly like I hoped for. What else? What am I proud of? I'm getting stronger. I can see my muscles when I'm trying to do a pull-up. Not that I can do a pull-up, but that's the goal. We're working on pull-ups especially and just my arms because they're very weak, but I can see my muscles starting to develop and that makes me so excited. So getting stronger is what I'm proud of. I'm excited about that seating chart mirror and I got it on Facebook Marketplace. My first Facebook Marketplace success. That's what I'm gonna put. What did I learn from this month? Things take time. I don't know, I thought I would have those invitations already sent out. I tried really hard, but like things take time. We've had multiple revisions of getting the invitations done. We're picky and then some details have changed so we had to change things and it's just a lot. So I've learned that things take time. I guess that's super general, but that's fine. And things I want to improve on productivity. I said procrastination in my last month. If I can get myself up out of bed earlier and started on my day, I feel like I'll be way more productive. I just need to get way more things done on my to-do list every day than I have been doing. And I, I, I've definitely been making progress, but I just need to, you know, better myself every month. And that's the goal. So that's my monthly reflection for February. Moving on to budget tracker, which I didn't do last month and I'm not planning to do this month. Books I've read. So like I said, I read one book and that was Red, White, and Royal Blue. I loved it. I give it five stars. And then I'm reading Where the Crawdads Sing, hoping to be done maybe within the next week or so. So recipes, have I tried anything new that I wanna showcase? I haven't really. I feel like this is another page I kinda don't really fill out so much. I think I'm just gonna put it in my extras archive folder. Same with the budget tracker. And that's basically it. That's my Notion tour and setting goals for the month. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below what your biggest goal is for the month of March. I really appreciate you watching and I hope you have a wonderful and productive month yourself. Bye.